Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about page object model. How we can able to implement into our robot framework. Okay, basically page object model is a pattern. Okay, basically a page object a model is in a pattern. It's not a framework. It is completely a pattern. What exactly the pattern will work? See, imagine now I have login page and also I have registration page and a home inside the cart page and selecting the sorry items page. There are four couple of pages are presented. If I'm not using page object model, okay, what will happen? All the web elements in the four pages we are every time we can able to create the same elements correct if i want to log in page again we need to create again we need to create here again we need to create here here like all the page objects we need to use it into four different pages with the duplicate of that and also some one day the project is started you created without using page object model what will happen all the duplicate contents are presented then one particular situation there is a failure happen you want to change all the four places that particular web element every time right and in case if you leave the project and some new guy is came into the project and he need to start again you need to check all the web elements whether it is presented or not whether it is modified or not like that is it is a big deal right they can't able to find properly to overcome that, too easy to making that web element into a particular situation means we can able to say one page called objects. In this objects, we are going to every page object here. We need to mention the page name and we can able to mention for objects here. What will happen in case in tomorrow if new guy came and seen also, he can able to directly refer that particular page and that particular page module and he can able to go and see that all the web elements are presented or not in case if no means he can able to recreate if yes means he can able to reuse that web element correct this is object and what about page is completed and what about keys and we can able to create one particular section and there we can able to each page we can able to create one key section or else we can able to create all in one place also okay but we can able to divide into a sections or else we can able to create each page keys into separate then what will happen and whenever you want to call here now if you want to call a particular into login page you can able to call directly into a login page place and the method creation for we can able to create here we can able to call this login page into here okay now objects here here presented keys here presented method is here okay next time you want to use login page again what will happen you can able to directly call into another place means you create you access here login page again again here without creating a duplicate you can directly call that key and you can able to use it here it will reduce the time and also duplicate of count uh, code it will reduce okay how we can able to achieve this kind of approach on our robot framework see now in my case i'm going to login page source page Okay, I need to take my you can able to take one uh, RNG HRM application URL. Yes, in this page we are going to creating for home page this is uh, like a page for login page going to create for key objects how we can able to segregate 
first we need to creating for the project structure there are three categories one is objects class and another one is key keywords class and another one is methods or else we can able to call it as a page class okay these are the three classes we are going to create it okay now pages i'm going to create pages will delete and now i'm going to create one directory here that is objects dot row pi i'm going to creating i'm going to objects i'm going to create objects one and this deletion why it is not working yes it is okay now inside that i'm going to create for the file python file that is objects for i'm going to create object values value dot this python right it just object value is okay okay here we can able to call it one by one for that is like you can rename it is not possible no? we'll create objects means it is confusion it will happen and i will create for login underscore objects that will help you right you can easily understand that what exactly it is present now in our place login objects now what are the objects we are going to create here first i need to create this name enabled in inspect here name text box okay and txt underscore name and there is a syntax we need to follow double quotation a name which is a locator and a locator value this is a way we need to declare for our uh, object okay this is our key this is our value inside the value double quotation this is a locator and this is the value of the locator okay and next one is password password it is my password only txt underscore password and again double quotation name and colons and we need to pass password value and we need to choose for login the login we can able to find okay find button text i'm going to creating for uh, export for this yes we can able to find it one value and btn underscore login okay now we can able to take x path colon then we order the path of that okay now we have locators here and next step is we need to create four keywords for that we need to create one directory directory keywords keywords directory and inside the keyword directory we are going to create the file that is a robot file we need to consume this python file there and it means the objects or the keys we need to call it right for this we can able to say login underscore key dot robot 
okay now here we need to use for settings library selenium selenium library and we need to consume this particular python file the keys objects what are the objects we created those objects we need to consume here see there are two ways we need to consume normally we can uh, other files we, if you want to consume into robot file there are two ways if it is ro robot file then we need to use for resource in case other than the robot file then if it is python file then we are going to call it as a variables because there's a external file we are going to consume into our robot file side for that we can mention okay dot 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 sorry, dot dot hyphen we need to objects we can mention and again base we can able to say login underscore object dot py okay now we are able to access this particular file into here now once we call it here and we need to create our keywords what are the keywords we can able to create i am going to create for open my browser okay now here i am going to do for open browser and it can be taken for two two values for this we required for parameters first because it should take directly right if you are going to declare directly here hard coded and again it is like headache the two arguments what exactly it will take one is dollar curly brace url and dollar curly brace browser curly brace close same thing we need to define here okay now we are able to and maximize browser and then we can able to give the sleep in two seconds to waiting purpose and another one is close browsers my method is close all browsers okay now closing and opening browsers are completed and we need to do for action enter enter name enter the name is the one and it should take the arguments argument that is dollar raise user name okay and here we can able to use input text the locator we need to consume our locator is txt txt place we can able to use for our locator dollar curly brace and use the locator value and you can able to specify and here is we can able to specify this particular value okay this is one kind of thing and another one is enter password and password also it should take for argument that is a dollar password and input input password field this one also it will take as a locator that is a text txt password okay for this we need to mention the dollar curly brace inside the value of that locator and we can able to mention this particular one okay now we can able to enter for password and we need to click 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 login
click login and we need to specify our locator is click element and we can able to click link and this click login button anything we can able to and we can able to use for click element and we can able to specify dollar and curly base and we can able to specify curly base close okay now we can able to use it all keywords here now we are going to creating for the page for this we require for to creating page we need to another directory that is called pages inside the pages i'm going to creating for my file is login page dot robot now we are created for objects login keywords and pages now we are calling this all the things into one place now we don't want to equal to call to this particular one we can able to call it for this particular login key how we can able to do it first we need to do it for settings library and we need to do for selenium library and here now previous what happened python file consuming purpose we used for variables now this particular keyword in uh, consuming purpose we are using for resource because this is a python uh, robot file colon colon first as key words and you can able to login key dot robot file right now we can able to create variables and dollar because uh, variables we can able to declare one time we can able to consume all the places into here okay for that i'm going to create this one and this is my login url and again i'm going to create for browser browser is chrome okay and even if you want to create a username password fields also here you can able to do it how we can able to means a dollar curly brace and name we can able to mention <coughs> admin like that you can able to declare here or else you can create any other way also nothing problem but i'm going to create first directly now our test case test case and inside that login hrm okay login hrm plus we need to call it here one by one we need to call it from these keywords and here open browser i'm going to call open browser it required for two parameters that is url and another one is browser right now we are able to open the browser. Now we required for enter name. For entering name, we are using directly and I can able to specify name of that user admin. It will take admin. Enter password. Then you can able to take admin one, two, three. Now you can after clicking you need to click login button click login this is the one we created right click login for that and we need to use for sleep method two seconds then we can able to call it close browsers that is our method close browsers okay now we done for login screen and you can able to run here and you can able to check whether you are able to see your page object model or not whether it is calling or not pages forward slash then login underscore page dot robot and enter 
you can able to see here. It will maximize the browser and it will wait for two seconds. Then it will start for giving the username, password fields on that. And it will go for inside that and it goes. Now we can able to get for pass result. This is a way we can able to do it for page object model. You can create a keywords, objects, pages. You can differentiate and you can able to reuse those things. Even you can able to create for registration, you can able to create for some inside the function, uh, what are the values you can able to do, right? Those things also you can able to create and you can able to do it. I hope you understand this video. If you like this video, please like the video, please subscribe my YouTube channel. Don't forget to share your friends and colleagues and also comment on this video. Thank you.